This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, good job. There's a lot more than a take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I don't I have mean. to pee. Jeez. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Clem just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy it's shit. needed in here. Son of Bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? I don't know. Kill dad, him? It's I just like a boy. Him. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. I don't like picking Everyone sides. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody you is doing anything. Him. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking They'll matter. get in here because but you're... Right now. We're about Yelling. to be trapped in Jesus. here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Oh, fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for <laughs> my daughter. No, you're sure. just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh man. Oh, 
Thank you. Carly. Man. You okay? Just great, thanks. Thank you so much, Larry. You just made my day so much better. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch. We almost Richie died because of you. That was stupid. So that was screw you. Oh, oh. Dad! Oh. Hopefully you die from a heart attack. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Okay. Well. Oh. It's, uh, it's like fun. What are we doing? Blacked out. See? Energy box. Probably doesn't taste good, but food is food. <clears throat> Guess we should make our rounds, do some socializing before we go into the office. Uh, let's talk to you, I guess. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was but just doing what I had to earlier. Wasn't she paying attention? Was. You she didn't have heard to call my name. Me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad? That didn't help. Well, I don't like you, so I don't really care. Um. From You're here? from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. I'm smarter than you. I'm just... Yes, I am, because I'm a teacher. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Guessing those were his parents, because they were talking about pharmacy. Um, at the beginning of the game. 
What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. I'm gonna get back to him now. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Maybe I should give him an energy bar. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Well, you didn't have to Says punch the guy him. who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Well, the family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional days. damage it could is have happening just been a to few her hours. every second her family is gone. Like, how, how long was I passed out for? That's the question. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so... We ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah. They're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. He speaks the truth. Try to let it go. It's funny, because I always say that to people. Just let it go. And then I start singing, let it go. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Not in front of people, of course, because that's embarrassing. <laughs> Who are you? Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. <laughs> 